Hi, I'm Randy Reed, editor of the Edison Report, and we're here in the Forum in Frankfurt at Leiden Building, and I am joined by Ed Hubers of Philips Lighting, also of Signify, the new name. So Ed, thank you for having me. Thank you. I am personally intrigued about LiFi, and I think LiFi gives our industry a chance to bring some more profit into it, and you recently announced that you are in LiFi. Tell yeah. our audience a little bit about the technology. So we indeed announced yesterday that we included LiFi in our portfolio. I think there's two things I, I want to tell you. One is why LiFi? So why do we think LiFi is interesting? So I think there are three reasons why LiFi could give a solution for our customers. Okay. One is the security level. So with LiFi, you would have wireless connectivity only in the area which you select. Right. With existing technology, you would have wireless data everywhere, so you might want to contain your wireless data. The second thing we see is that the radio wave spectrum is getting cluttered, it's full. Uh, you notice that maybe already on this trade show, it's very difficult to connect to Wi-Fi, uh, but we also see that in applications outside of trade shows, multi-tenant buildings. And the number of devices connecting to wireless, uh, uh, so for instance to Wi-Fi or to Zigbee, is increasing. So that becomes kind of full. So we think the lighting spectrum is an ideal location to put wireless connectivity. So that's the second reason we think Li-Fi is interesting. Okay. One third reason is that in some applications you're not allowed to use radio waves. It might disturb other processes. Like a hospital. Like, a hospital, uh, like some industrial processes, maybe in data centers. You don't want to use radio waves. So in that case you need to find an alternative and we believe Li-Fi could be a good alternative for that. Right. Tell our audience about speed as compared to Wi-Fi. Now the current top speed of Wi-Fi is much higher than it is of Li-Fi. Um, so we, our system creates a speed of 30 megabits a second, which is kind of a technical thing, but this allows people to work, to watch Netflix, to download videos, and to basically have a very good connection. It might not be the top speed you will see on Wi-Fi, but it's very important with Li-Fi that the connection is very stable. So you would have 30 megabits all day long, 24-7. Well, with Wi-Fi, you might have 100 megabits at one second and two at the other. So your stability is very low. So with Li-Fi, we believe we have a stable, fast enough solutions for a lot of applications. Okay, so with Li-Fi, I can have several people under the same light and it's not going to slow the speed down, is that correct? In the end, you share the speed under one luminaire. We can host up to 15 people under one luminaire and then you would share the speed. Uh, but even with a couple of people, you will be able to do a video conference or able to watch a 4K movie on YouTube, even with a couple of people under one luminaire. Okay, and as I understand it, you have a dongle that would plug into my laptop. Yes. And then with that dongle, it would receive the internet, okay, through the lights. Yeah. Now, when will we see devices with the receiver built in? I, I'm guessing that will take a couple of years still. Um, uh, there's a lot of standardization to be done in this world. Eh? So this Li-Fi is really new. Although it's introduced in 211, I think, by Harold Haas, it's still in its right. early stage of From development. Pure Li-Fi. Uh, and uh, so it's still in the early stage. So we see now a lot of interest from device makers, from chip makers, to see how we can standardize on Li-Fi. And if this standardization is done, you will see this integration into devices. So we start sort of like Wi-Fi started. 10 years ago, we had a Wi-Fi dongle. Right, and I remember. And somewhere it was integrated into your laptop. Uh, now we start with a Li-Fi dongle, and we believe strongly that in a couple of years, this will be integrated into your laptop into your phone, into your mobile device. All right, so let's talk about 10 years ago when we had that Wi-Fi dongle. Yeah. When I would travel, I would look for hotels that had Wi-Fi, yeah. and I'd be willing to pay a little more because I didn't want to have to use dial-up. Yeah. Do you envision the same trend happening with Li-Fi? We don't know. Let's say still currently you see some restaurants where they advertise to have Wi-Fi. Uh, right. So in that sense, it's still sort of a unique selling point you see in the right. market. Um, we do believe we have some interest from hotel chains who think, hey, this might be interesting to offer our customers a really good connectivity where Wi-Fi in hotels is typically not so good. Right. Um, so we believe there will be hotel chains or hospitality areas where they say, hey, we have a Li-Fi connection uh, for, your, uh, for my customers. So, so if you had to guess in three or four years if I'm buying a new tablet, yeah. will I have an option to buy Li-Fi? We certainly hope so. We will do everything to make that happen. 
but it's an ecosystem. Eh? So it's not only about the lighting manufacturer integrating the technology, it's about uh, the telecom companies to, in, to incorporate this or to offer this to their customers. It's about the chip makers, it's about the device makers. So you see a lot of companies in the ecosystem who need to follow this, this technology. So therefore for us it's very important to create our first really working products, plug and play, no software involved, you can just install it and click it in and it works, to let the world, let's say, understand Li-Fi and experience Li-Fi okay. to stimulate uh, the development of that technology. Okay, uh, outside of Philips, I'm aware of two other companies that are offering Li-Fi. Mm -hmm. They're both in France. Yeah. And I noticed from your press release, your first, uh, your first uh, use of it is also in France. Yeah. What's going on in France with Li-Fi? Uh, I cannot really put my finger on it, but we see uh, indeed a lot of activities on Li-Fi in France. Um, not only on the customer side, but also on the offering side indeed. Um, I think it's growing around the world. We see other pockets of, uh, of interest, so I think it becomes more a global, uh, global subject. But indeed, sort of the hot spot seems to be in France, yeah. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Well, I want to thank you very much for explaining to our audience, and I want to wish you a wonderful show. Your hall is packed, as it always is, and I look forward to spending some time learning about other products. Thank you, Randy. All right, thank you, Ed. Appreciate it.